Hi, I'm Michael Littman, a professor in the Computer Science Department, and I'm also one of the co-organizers with Chad Jenkins and Bertram Malley of the Humanity-Centered Robotics Initiative, or HCRI, which is an effort that we're doing uh, to try to bring people across the campus together to focus on how to create robots that help people and work with people. We thought a good idea would be to run a class where the students would actually focus on questions of how to design humanity-centered robots. We went to the St. Elizabeth's community and spoke with people there about what sort of functionality they'd really need. The students came up with a lot of really good ideas and the class has been about trying to implement them. The Brown Design Workshop has been a really important resource to us in being able to bring this idea to fruition. So instead of just having the idea, oh, we can think about robots and what they should be like, we can actually get in here and start building things. And the resources are just wonderful. Brown Design Workshop is a space where students can design and make things. But it's more than a space. It's a community. It's a culture of design. It's a place where students can immerse themselves in project-based learning. Classes like Designing Humanity-Centered Robots give students the opportunity to iteratively prototype. The class this semester is made up of a remarkably diverse group of engineers, designers, computer scientists, artists, amongst others. This diversity is crucial as it provides both the technical and theoretical resources necessary to design and build something as complex as a robot. My name is Denai Mataksa Kakabuli and I'm a senior at Brown majoring in computer science and science and society. Taking a class like this is really valuable to me because I get to work with people from a really wide variety of disciplines. The project I'm working on right now is called the Beastie Bot. And the idea behind the Beastie Bot is that we wanted to create uh, a robot that would navigate a space in a more natural way than anything we have right now. So rather than sitting with uh, arrow keys um, and not being able to move around at all, uh, we have a handheld controller that looks like this, which controls both the movement with here and the scroll wheel controls the arm, as well as a matching hat that mimics your movement with a gyroscope. So I'm Ryan Mather, and I am a senior at RISD. And I'm Barbara, and I'm a senior studying industrial design at RISD. So we're envisioning this telepresence robot slash walker in a near future scenario where it can provide another level of care for older adults that need some assistance to stay independent. So we thought about maybe somebody having something like this in their home. The telepresence aspect of it would allow them to communicate with their loved ones and with their doctors potentially. The walker aspect of it will help them get around. My name is Emma Funk and I'm a junior at Brown University. Our project was trying to figure out how can we take this idea of presence as this very complicated human experience and break it down into sensory experiences that are almost like single gestures that we could sort of recreate with some simple robotics. So the two things I've been working on are a wristband that heats up so like a friend or a loved one, it reacts to warm you up in a human tactile way. The other one is thinking about vibration, the way that footsteps can communicate and the way that different parts of your body touch other people in a gestural, affectionate way. We all branched off and we tried to isolate individual expressions of human intimacy in small artifacts. Um, a lot of us in this group didn't really have a lot of technical experience before this, so it was both an exploration of the concept and also of kind of the difference between um, some gestures that are very natural and human and the kind of arduous work it takes to bring that to life through machinery and how difficult it can be to translate humanity into gears and electricity and, and sensors. So we've been really excited about the class and the possibilities that this opens up and we hope to, to really keep this momentum going and create a real community of people who can build very creative things.